It's Israel Adesanya, ladies and gentlemen. You might be the king of petty. I'm the best. You have been on some shit after that knockout. <laughs> John Jones. He said that you were his favorite fighter. That's a lie. It's inside actual quotes. <laughs> on the PDF, bro. It's it inside. It must be real. It's out, Sway. I ain't gonna lie on the PDF, Sway. <laughs> this is why online people think I'm gay. That's my boyfriend, apparently. <laughs> my manager. <laughs> I see him in the cage with them all the time. They always hugging his shit. Must be a sugar daddy. <laughs> he told me you didn't want to strike today. Nah. When he came back to the house today, he was like, dude, he's lucky he didn't want to strike against me. That's what he was <laughs> you know what's good about having the guests in Puerto Rico? What? I don't feel rushed because I know they're trapped here. <laughs> I know they have nowhere else to go besides here. There's no like PR agent like, hey, we got to get him out of here. No, like, there's I'm, nowhere to go. I'm looking Where are you at. Gonna, I can't even go to the grocery <laughs> store. Can't go to the grocery store. Doesn't there, exist. There is none. <laughs> I'm looking at two of the best fighters in the world playing on my drum set. <laughs> well, and they, yeah, and they have a good time. That's another reason why you don't have to worry about them leaving. It's like they're at the f the fun factory. What was Derek's thing called? Yeah, the fun, fun factory. factory. Is yeah, that, that was not it. right. Well, is the it chocolate factory? The whiskey helps. The whiskey helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely having more fun now. We've bro. been drinking. It's uh, what is it? 4.23 on a Tuesday. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I really mean that. Uh, man, it's been a long journey. And we love sitting down and chatting shit with the boys. We got, some, we got some of the best fighters in the world in the house today. Israel Adesanya. <sighs> Matt, do you think we should bring him in for the podcast? That's actually crazy that he's here. After all the shit that's been going on the past couple months. After the prayer vic victory, I, I to just have him live and in the flesh. I, I, I'm gonna ask him. He's coming right now. I'm gonna ask him. He's not even. He, oh, dude, he well, might be the he, coolest person on the planet. He's he's sick. He's sick, dude. Let's go. Let's get impulsive. Whenever you're ready. Whenever buddy. you're ready, boss. We're ready for you. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Let's go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He's one of the biggest superstars in the history of the UFC. He's middleweight champion of the world. He loves dancing. He loves anime. It's Israel Adesanya, ladies and gentlemen. So clapping twice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We that, outside. I, we're inside, but we outside. I, <laughs> I wish I, I, I wish I had a better. I, I, no, we got it. No, that was good. That was really good. Dude, this whiskey's yeah. hitting me a little quicker. I love it. I Thank you. I mean, bless, bless, bless. Yeah, yeah, bless. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, I saw y'all breaking it out. I, I didn't want to be excluded. No, we, we, we're team. Dude, welcome to fucking puerto rico thank you thank you for having us i can't believe you flew here so far yeah it's uh i didn't count but the thing with me though i mean anyone who knows me they know when i fly i pretty much teleport elaborate yep Explain like that. i get on a plane before or after it takes off i'm gone i might make my bed or whatever but then i wake up i might be like oh six hours left and i wake up again oh an hour left cool and that's me. You've mastered fighting. You've yeah. mastered the art of travel. Yeah. That's I, what you're saying. I've, be, I've been around. Like, I, I, I keep saying, if, you know the amazing race? Yeah. yeah. I'd probably, I'd kill at that. I speak a few languages. See, when you say that, yeah. it makes me think you got kill someone. I can. I can. But like, <laughs> I wouldn't. But I mean, I would, I, would, I would do very well in that game because of my ability to pack fast, in a hurry, yeah. compact, and get to the airport. Like, I mean, <laughs> I've never missed a flight, but flights have missed me a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but, you know, we, 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 yeah, we still make it happen. We still make well, it dude, happen. Well, dude, you came from what? Off New, Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. So I went New Zealand to Sydney, Sydney to LA, LA, Chicago, Chicago to San Juan. And you lost your bags in Chicago. I didn't. They did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> For whatever reason. I feel it was Fugazi because me, Craig, and Paul, they were kind of like, ah, oh, and a few other people online, like probably like 17 people like getting frustrated yeah someone's about to carry it out and i was just like oh shit they're getting frustrated they weren't they, we weren't allowed on the plane until they had our bags transferred from our, our last flight to this flight coming uh, up to chicago so i feel they kind of bullshitted us to get on the plane and then they just left our bags back there so it's whatever i have my carry-on i put undies in my carry-on so it's good and then ash already had um a lot of engaged gear so see yeah. even that right there tells me you're a professional like you had a extra backup underwear yeah in the carry-on yeah i was ready i see i can tell that when i'm working with a fighter mm. 
there's a different energy there. Like I was worried for a second. I was like, these guys might be tired. Nah. He lost his bags. He's going to be frustrated. Nah. He, he got here. He told me, <laughs> he's like, dude, I was sleeping in like trains in China yeah. on the come up. I've been through worse. That's the thing. It's perspective. Even today, I woke up today. Okay. So uh, I posted a little bit on my story. So I woke up today. I had maybe three hours sleep from or four, maybe three or four from like, say, 2.33 a.m. I woke up around 6 a.m. and I was just like, I'm up. But I slept or teleported here anyway. So I had a lot of sleep loaded up. So I woke up fresh and I was in bed from six to like 7 a.m. I was like, right, I'm gonna go on a bike ride. Then I went on a bike ride around the Ritz. You went on a bike ride this morning? Yeah, around the Ritz, just like on the little like beach cruiser. Cruiser, yeah. And then hung out and eventually I went in the ocean and I chilled in the ocean. The water is so nice. Nice, right? So nice. Yeah. Cause even before I hopped in, I was like, it might be cold. So I'm ready for like the cold, like the cold plunge mentality. Yeah. But I hopped in, I was like, oh shit, so nice. Like I just sat there. Yeah. yeah. And then I was just chilling and I was just grateful. Like I remember when I used to sit, I have moments like this in my head where I I, 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 I go back and I'm just, I remember when I would dream of days like this. Mm. Like I would literally be at my old job, sitting by the water cooler at lunchtime and looking at the city and then people would be like, oh, what are you thinking of? I'm just like, oh, nothing. But I'm thinking of days like this. So I'm, I thought it was a Monday on a Tuesday and I'm just like, I'm out in Puerto Rico at the Ritz on some private beach chilling, yeah. you know? September 3rd, no, September 4th, 2013 is the day I quit that job. What was it? I was a metering and billing coordinator. So I was pretty much like doing data input behind uh, no the way. screen. So no it's, it's eight hours a day, you know, someone has a gas meter that was broken. I'll get the technician to go fix it. You know, um, need to read a meter or whatever. I get a reading, all that kind of stuff. So were you was, good at Were you good at that job? <laughs> like, were you the champ? Do you have that mentality? Like, were you the champ nope, regardless? Nope, nope, nope. I was. It wasn't my passion. It was never my passion. Do you think so. there any, there's anybody on the world whose passion? Yeah, is definitely. Re- and I don't. I, honestly, I respect that. That's the thing. Because no, for, for sure. me, I for, I had to learn this through Eugene. Actually, taught me because one time when after I first left that job and I was like, finally, I can kind of like just live the life I wanted. He was like, hey, people actually provide for their families doing that and this and that he kind of schooled me on that and i was like you know what there's nobility in that if if you do that and you provide for your family and that's your passion and you do something to to make it happen for them someone who comes from where i come from in a lower income like neighborhood from nigeria that's their dream they would fucking kill to make the money i was making back then they would kill to be living the way i was living back then so it was perspective so when i woke up this morning and i did the bike ride went in the ocean had a coffee. It's one of those moments I like, cause I've never been to Puerto Rico. I kind of just sit back and just go like, yeah, gratitude. If you start your day with that, mm. you can't have a bad day. Every day. Like every like every single day, if you wake up just happy to be where you're at, like it's hard to go wrong from there. So this on TikTok, some guy said, if you had the option of a hundred million dollars, but you only have three days to live, what? what would you pick? You saw that, yeah. So that shows that, you know your 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 days are more valuable than a hundred million yeah. or whatever it is, or even if it's you only have till tomorrow to live. But it's just because we just take this for granted. So I think just waking up and realizing that it's it's we're blessed. We're all blessed to be alive. Because some people, and I know this, they never woke up the next day. You know, we've been in positions like that where it's like some people just never, yeah, they never rise up. That perspective mentality is such a strong foundation for mental success yeah it's a lot harder right it's easier said than done i think Facts, yeah. but if you can if you can get reps. in there it's it, it is reps and yeah. it's one of the many things i think people love about you bro like you've, mm. you've, you've definitely transcended mma and and, and the ufc i mean mm. you, you, the numbers speak for themselves and that's why i wanted to split up uh you and alex on on this podcast so much meat there's so much meat so much meat the boys between got meat. me and us you know so much meat to listen <laughs> Filet and get through the I mean, layers, you know, the I mean, fat, the marbling, all that. It's just so much meat all between of us. It, all of it. Yeah, you guys yeah. are A5 Wagyu. Ooh, I'm not yes, going to eat them both at once. I'm going to yes, enjoy sir. each conversation. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, I've been a fan of you guys for forever. And I resonate with, with you beyond just your ability to be the best fighter in the world, bro. Like, even, even the last speech after Pereira, and, and yeah. we're going to get into it. Yeah. Man, you're talking about having that mental fortitude and, and, and rising up. And it was one of the most inspiring post-fight speeches I've ever seen. Yeah. And, 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 and we, as, as the viewers, were riding for you, man. The yeah. Izzy fans, like, what a fucking yeah. journey. This, this guy, Pereira, beat you twice 
in in the kickboxing, kickboxing league, yeah. right? Came to the UFC again on some, uh, you know, like yeah. maybe they should have let it go. But I, yeah. okay, okay. I gave it to him. He wouldn't have got as far as he did without me because he beat me already. And there's that storyline there. They gave him an easy for route. Sure. For sure. Because if you look at my title run, my run to the title, and then his run to the title, it's not even close. I fought different styles. I fought big names. He fought one like medium name. This is when I became a fan. Yeah. When you fought the big names intentionally. Yeah. When you were coming up, you right. would pick you. out the hardest you. guy. You. <laughs> you. Like, bro, you. handpicking Yoel Romero, yeah. the soldier of God, to go toe to toe with. I was like, yo, Amen. this guy Amen. crazy, is he? But I'll tell you one thing though, again, I've said this before, like, shout out to y'all. He's he's a he's a beast. He was older when I fought him. I would have fought him before he was younger. But when you look at that fight, I me and him know it doesn't matter what everyone cares, but me and him knew who really wanted to fight that time. And it's cause, and he did it again in Bellator apparently. He just kind of stood there and just was inactive. I've seen these on TikTok, yeah, these, these, these speed up compilations on yeah, TikTok. Yeah, but I mean like, I was ready to fight. I, allegedly someone made a big bet on me to win, real crazy, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know who, but someone did. So, I mean, I knew what I was gonna do, but hey, shit happens, man. The the whole the whole Pereira thing was was so inspiring and Jake who we had on this podcast in the, the, the a couple episodes ago mm. uh, made a comment that we need to cherish people and their greatness well, while they're still alive I, while they're still active. I appreciate that. And you're one of those guys where, I mean, you're definitely getting the recognition, but like mm. people people I think got to pay attention, man. Like that mm. in my head as a athlete ish. Don't do like, that. Don't do that. As an athlete, say no, no, no don't do that. Just I'm say, an athlete, mom. Good, good. good. <laughs> you are. Yeah, I roll with you today. I can tell. I can tell. Talk, these guys beat my ass today. It wasn't me. It was Craig. <laughs> fuck Craig Jones. <laughs> fuck Craig yo, Jones. Hashtag yo, fuck Craig Jones. That guy is so good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. What the fuck? It's magic. He, the guy, his coach was telling him how to tap me out, and yeah. he would do it at his leisure. I had yeah. no control. Yeah, that's Craig. That's what he does. Yeah, he, he does it to me as well. He told me you didn't want to strike today. And I, said, I thought we were sparring. I thought we were going to nah, sparring. Nah, nah, nah. I was like, look, I haven't, not because I couldn't, but like, I'm just like, look, I've not, since Craig has been with me for like a month now, I've kind of just like, I made a joke, ah, striking's boring. You know, who wants to fuck? Knockouts? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> who wants got, to do that? Nah, well, cause like, when he came back to the house, today, yeah. he was like, dude, he's, he's lucky. Like, yeah. He didn't want to strike against me. me. Like, Bro. I know. <laughs> I am a lucky guy. I'll say that. No, no. I am a very lucky guy. We're gonna, hey, we're going to go casino later on. You'll find out. I'm a very lucky guy. No, no. I got back to the house with a sore neck. My thumb is pointed that's in a not, different that's direction. That's Craig. That's all Craig. It, it was Craig. Me. He tapped me out six times in five minutes. That's him. That's him. It's fun to watch. But also, it's, it's even fun to be a part of when you're in it. But you learn to appreciate it, though. You learn to appreciate it. Because it's just like you do something. Like, I go for a Dawes choke, and he'll get on my back. And I'm just like, how the fuck? And then sometimes I'll know he's about to do it, but he'll still do it. But the, the best thing with him is like, I get less sucky every time I'm able to block yeah. some of his moves. But then he's like, oh, I got this whole other deck right here. Oh shit, I never even showed you. So he can just like. That's how those BJJ yeah. black belts are. You, yeah. And you know immediately when you're rolling with one of them. It's one of the hardest disciplines, I think, to to defend against. Because if you don't know it, you're fucked. Yeah. He's gonna, this guy person can kill you yeah. and break all your limbs at Facts. the same time. Facts. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready for the wild with their game-changing full body grooming and hygiene products. Don't be the guy at the beach with Austin Powers chest hair. And if you grew some winter man tits, the least you can do is make sure they are hairless. It's time to get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code Logan. I'll tell you what, when I'm shirtless in the WWE or rolling around on a UFC mat, I feel great having no body hair. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package. For <laughs> That's this one, it's right always here. a tongue twister. The Performance Package 4.0. The kit comes with the Essential Lawnmower 4.0, waterproof, cordless body trimmer, and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. This trimmer is the best on the market. It features a ceramic blade designed to cut hair on loose skin and to reduce grooming accidents thanks to advanced skin safe technology. Inside the Performance Package, you'll You'll also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer, the Weed Whacker 2.0 for nose hairs, and Shears 2.0 Nail Kit for your feet. 
You'll also get two free gifts. Woo! Having the right tools for grooming is essential. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code Logan at Manscaped.com. That is 20% off plus free shipping with the code Logan at Manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped. Now back to the show. You ran into Pereira at the airport. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So uh, that's, bro, I, my life is a video game, man. I, I kind of, I've said this since... I knew I've known this for a while, but after I fought Derek Brunson in New York, I had a at the my Wayne Jorgens in the VMA, I said something about player one. People think I'm joking about that, but I feel player one is a title that we can all learn to, you know, grasp, you know, and hold the control of our own lives and learn how to play this shit like a video game. My whole avatar right now, I customize this. The way I walk, the way I talk, the way I hold myself, the way I dress, it's all my avatar. This is the Sims. You guys, you play The Sims back in the of day? Of course, dude. Yeah, yeah, put them in the house, make them do make things. Make them fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking oh, watch. Light them on fire. What? <laughs> Who would do that? Not me. <laughs> but yeah, like, so this is real life Sims. So I do the same thing in life, and I just try and just like play this like a video game. And then this motherfucker, he <laughs> follows me to MMA, you know, beats me in MSG. And then I finally get my revenge on him. Then he comes to Australia. He was meant to come to the boxing fight, but apparently he heard I was coming and it wasn't going to show up. And I was like, oh, I, I didn't care. I wasn't, I'm not going to be like, oh, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then by fate or by fucking just God playing the Sims, it's like, let me put these guys in the same airport together. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Mm. And then we're there at the same time. And my, uh, my um, manager, Ash, is like, that's Pereira. And I was like, what? And I look, and I was like, no way. <gasps> it is him. And initially, I was going to do this because I, I was... <laughs> Oh, I was I was not stalking him, but I was, I was on his tail for a while, a good three four minutes. <laughs> so I had the I had the clean shot. No nah, jokes. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> jokes, jokes. <laughs> but then, <laughs> <laughs> no. But like I saw him, and I, I was gonna go, hey. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't make. I didn't do that. I was just yeah. like, oh, in case. So I just kind of like, hey. And then his coach and his girl saw me, and they started laughing. And he turns around, is it? Stone cold, no smile, no laugh. And I'm like, what's up, man? And I shook his hand. He's like, because, yeah, that's who he well, is. Bro, yeah, yeah. I've never you seen haven't, him show You haven't emotion. had exactly like a, a traditional post fight. Yeah. And I, I want to I talk about this. This like, new one. Bro, like, you might be the king of petty. Like, I'm like, the best. I'm the you, best. You have been on some shit after that knockout. <laughs> like, every time I saw. Michael Jordan's right here. <laughs> And I think I'm just over here. Or maybe even like a notch above. I don't want to say shout out to Mike, but like I think I I like to believe I'm petty. Trust me, I will hold a, a grudge on some, some people. I can let go of some things. Some things I've let go of in life. Like the first time he beat me, he knocked me out. Oh, no, the second time he beat me, he locked me out. I let go of that. I wasn't like, I'm going to get that back. I need to get that back. I was just like, you know what? That's life. And I left kickboxing because the promotion I was working for stopped giving me fights. So I let go of that. But... What his kid did to me after that fight, it irked me the wrong way. And I didn't really hold on to it, but it was sitting there. You know, it was just in the archives. And then when the time came, I was like, oh, let me go through the files. And, oh, that's right. That's the way he did that shit. Every day for weeks, every gif, every edit, every yeah. Fortnite edit. Every time I saw an Izzy post, I was I like, this is going to be worse yeah. than the one before it. Okay, yeah. question. There's a method if, to my madness, though. I want to hear it. So you have to realize, strike while the iron is hot, you know? Um, you know, uh, say, example, Puma or whoever else, wanna, uh, someone new want to jump on the, on the scene, jump on the style bender train, what they want to do, they're going to ask, what's your numbers? What's your insights? So uh, when, like, this is trending, Run it, I, run it up. Run it, yeah. run it up, run it up. So people think, oh, he's just posting to be petty. I'm like, yeah, a little bit, but I'm running the numbers up. And I run the numbers up, the money goes up. So now I have already asked for my insights. Oh, I need your insights for the last two months or for the last this. Boom. Off, off, the, off, the, off the charts. Yeah. And I've got people making so much fire shit. Shout out to everyone who's making edits. The edits. Oh, they're insane. The, wow. Four, the I got, cartoon I'm not edits. even done. I'm not edits. done. There's still some more. You got more? <laughs> It's not on me. It's the internet. The but, internet's undefeated. It's, it's what it is. But Izzy, question. So yeah. going into 287, you yeah. have this vendetta because yeah. of how he acted post the last fight and more so because of how his son acted post yeah. fight. On, on this the is New York. One, yep. Yep. Right? So question, uh, if there ever was a, a per, another Pereira fight, do you worry at all about how he's going to feel about how you acted post 287? No. I saw his, I saw him in the airport. 
if you had a problem with me, he'll tell me right there. You looked pissed though. I'll be honest. He like made, pissed he, off. He made a video, and I wasn't sure if if you were yeah. I was with him. I'm gonna know a little bit. I mean, like, I, it's funny. The storyline's funny that he's always chasing me. You know, it is funny. So that's why I was just like, when he, when he made his video and he turned the camera to me, I was like. <laughs> so I kind of hammered up a little bit but then afterwards we talked went through security took our shoes off and then we're waiting for our bags to come through the belt and then talked about you know I was like Jan next yeah because he fought a guy that first MMA lost for me when I went up to 205 right. and then we talked about he kind of has the same idea like we pretty much through our limited uh, conversation skills because of his English yeah. um, and my Portuguese we kind of have the same idea of what's going to happen but I had to let him know I thought the same thing when I fought Jan. I thought Jan was going to attack me a little bit more, but he was patient. Mm. So I kind of let him know, just you be patient too. In more so words, I didn't want to say too much, but yeah, I feel like if, yeah, he can knock him out. He can knock out Jan badly because I hurt Jan. I hurt Jan really bad. And that's why Jan decided like oh, in the forefront, I'm going to take him down. Mm. Did, he went for the takedown. Mm. Did that Pereira fight go as you had strategized it to go? And The and, last one? Yeah. And when did you, and when did you, have the realization uh, about what was going to be the outcome based on his hands dropping, based on all that stuff? Like, what round was it that you made that realization? In my head, I had probably five, four different ways that it was going to end. Um, there was no submissions, unfortunately. It was all knockouts, you know? But when I was going, like, okay, look, I've, I've said this before. The, the, I feel the shower is the most honest place in the world. I go in the shower and I use it as a tool. That's why... I'm waiting for my pa my palace to get built because I've got a shower that's like I can do laps in because yeah. I need it to be like a simulation chamber, like a hyperbolic time chamber. You're in there with the element of water runneth over you. You're naked and you can think and do whatever you want in there. So when I'm in the shower, I run through simulations and I go through the press conference sometimes. I go through when Bruce Buffer is announcing my name. I don't mean to. It's like it's like Tourette's. It's just visualizing. If you if you visualize a lot and you're able to like when you visual example, to answer your question, I didn't really have an answer, but like I just knew I was gonna finish him and I knew I was gonna knock him out. I, that's the only way I put it on myself. I put that pressure on myself, like I have to knock this guy out. I have to if I decision him, it's not the same. I have to finish this guy. Cause I knew I can. Every time I fight him, the first time I thought I won, everyone thought I won. Second time I was winning until he caught me in the end. Spectacular story for him. Third time in New York, okay, I'm, I'm meant to get revenge. I'm winning, dominating, and then he catches me again in the end. I'm just like, fuck, and I'm like, I know I'm better than this guy. Bro, if, if he fights me five more times and he beats me five times, I don't care. I just have to show I beat. I can beat him. That's all. So it'd be a 3-1. I'm like, yeah, I don't keep score. I settle them, and I mean that shit. It's not about keeping score. It's about settling the score, and I just knew. I just wanted to prove, fuck everyone else, but to myself, I can beat this guy. I knew I can beat him, but I just wanted to prove to myself I can beat this guy. Did it feel like you were about to climb Mount Everest? Because I, 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 yeah, I had guys bit. when I wrestled, obviously yeah. way less competitive, but like my goal relevant. was still to relevant. be a state champ. That's still all relevant. I cared about at, at the time. Yeah. And there were a couple guys I just could not beat, dude. Yeah. And when I had to wrestle them, it it rattled me a little bit beforehand. I, I just I felt like you I can't could, let it. I, I tried to beat these guys, but you I just couldn't. Let it. Even Eugene said it best. He said, we weren't going into this mindset of like, oh, we've lost to this guy. Oh, three times. Now we have to go a fourth time. It wasn't that. It was more like we've we can beat this. We're beating this guy until we just either lose focus or something goes off at the last bit mm -hmm. and then he gets us. So that's the mindset we went in with. And I just knew I can beat this guy. I knew in my heart I can beat this guy. So I had to. I did it in the simulation. I made it happen in the simulation. And I just knew every time as well when I when I when I visualize, I go deep. I feel like not an out of body experience, but I feel like I am. I can feel the moment. I can feel the energy. I can hear the crowd. I can, I can, I can smell the the the. I don't know. The, it's palpable. You yeah. know, the yeah. feeling that is palpable. Shower, that shower yeah. mindset. Yeah, yeah. That shower yeah mindset. Exactly. Yeah. I say this as well. My post fight showers are a thing for those who know. If you know, you know. Post fight showers is where I go in there and also kind of just have gratitude. Same thing. You're in the matrix. The element of water is running over you, and you just kind of like, thank you, mm. thank you. Okay. We got this done and just reflect of what just happened. It took a while before I had my post fight shower after this last one. Tootsies. You know where Tootsies is? Of course. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> second floor Tootsies Shout getting to shoulder rubs? Yeah, we are. Bro, bro. Yeah. Thank you. No, I, is, you know I know. Is that a bar? That's a Drake bar, right? Yeah. And, as, and as a matter of fact, I was going to say earlier on the show, 
I didn't even know if you really existed during the day. Yeah. Because I never see, I've run into a number of times. And, How many? And all, I've seen you probably, at his house the probably, one time. Probably three, four, and I was going to yeah. ask you about this because post- I and exist. I, and I, yeah. <laughs> but, but post-287, yeah. Miami, one of the most electrifying nights. Like, you got it done on one of the craziest nights in UFC history. Mm. The crowd, the arena, just crazy. And post-fight, mm. you know, I, I, 11 is my home in Miami. I always I've go heard. there. And I show up at 11, it's like 5.30 a.m. And I yeah. look on stage where there's usually a girl sliding down a pole and she's there. But so is Izzy. And 11, oh, and, that's and, the club. And, and, yeah, and 11. So is, so is Chuck Liddell. Yeah. And so is Tito Ortiz and so is Kamaru Usman. Yeah. And the four Venom guys are just, are just going crazy with yeah. this girl sliding up and you know going up and down the pole. <laughs> so I walk up and I say, Izzy, I brought you something and I handed you five stacks of singles like this, like a brick. And I said, yo, that was a crazy remember. fight. And I want to ask you if you remember it, but I already know the answer is no. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was like. <laughs> you were like, you were like, thank you, bro. Singles? Thank you. But you were, you were Did roasted. I? No, I don't remember. 11, I wasn't, well, it was packed in there. It was packed. a lot of people fucking, like I said, Kamaru, Michael B. Even OBJ came down from, yep. from the top level, came to say what's up with some peoples and seen the legends there as well. Yeah, it was a crazy night. Once I asked him at one point, I was like, well, you know, how long do I have to stay here till? He's like, oh, that was about 40 minutes ago. I was like, oh, let's go. <laughs> Went home, couldn't sleep. It's probably around like 6 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then um, after that, stayed up, watched the fight, watched it again. Then I was up just going over some stuff with my couple of my, couple of my coaches before they left. Then I was up, ate, couldn't sleep, just like, and then I think we went to Tootsie's that night, Sunday. So that was still Sunday. So Sunday morning, we're at 11. Sunday night, we're at Tootsie's. And then Tootsie's was fun, you know, shoulder rubs upstairs, yeah, chilling. Yeah. And then I just couldn't even like, fuck, how do I put this? I couldn't even get excited because I was just like, my life is more exciting right now. What I just did was way more exciting than what's happening in front of me mm. with all these beautiful women and whatnot right now. Like, I was just so, like, shocked at what I did. So then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I spent in my room at the Airbnb just reflecting also, running numbers Posting. up. Posting. Yeah. Running yeah. numbers up. Yeah. Bro, like, so I was in my bed. I might nap a little bit, get some Uber Eats. And I went outside I'd eat each day, maybe like 20 minutes or 30 minutes just outside smoke on the balcony. The boys watching me, chilling. But it was more just to reflect and just, again, run the numbers up. Just run the numbers up. But then, um, yeah. That's, then I had a shower. I, I think I had it on Monday. Four, four days later. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had it on Monday, but still, like, yeah, it's one of those things that you just had to, like, you have to reflect. You have to kind of just, like, what the? Because I, I wrote it on my mirror eight weeks before the fight, April 8th, 2023, Miami, the greatest comeback in sporting history. It is written by me. And then whenever I go in the mirror, after a shower, you're in the mirror, brushing your teeth, whatever, boom, it's right there. I have to see it. And those affirmations stick with you. People don't understand how this works. I know you do. A lot of people do. He but stopped, like there's though. levels, there's levels. No, nah, there's levels. You guys do. Even Jake does. Like he does it before fights. So like I will knock out Tyron Woodley or da, 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 da. Yeah, So yeah. I understand. I know I know how the magic works. I've been there, but there's levels to it as well. There's new levels I have to discover as well. Even this camp, meditation, um, psilocybin, like microdosing a little bit just to get in touch with that primal self. Jake swears by it. Yeah. I just get to that primal, like get connected with yourself a little bit you know breath work with my coach yep. dave wood um a lot of things just to tap in and i like I say i put that pressure on myself this whole time even the post-fight speech people <laughs> i don't want to uh he kind of said some some idiot said something like the munchkin said something stupid about like oh i was you know we all practice these or that all i knew was like when i was visualizing in the shower i visualized as well the feeling of what it would feel like to lay this guy out i had like Five different celebrations. One was against the cage with me facing the cage. Um, one was against the cage where it was with me back against the cage. There was one in the middle. There was a submission. And I had like, you know, if I did this, I'm going to do this. Just like drills. It's like just what I want to do, you visualize. But then the post fight, I remember just like being, fuck. Like when I'm in the shower, I was like, this feels so good. I feel so happy. That didn't even happen yet. But when you visualize to the way I do, you just, it feels so real. Because the brain doesn't know what's real. And what you're thinking of, what's imagining. So I was just like, all I want, I want people to feel how happy I am. So that's why I asked Joe. I was like, Joe, can I hold the mic real quick? And he never does that. So shout out to Joe Rogan for letting me hold the mic. Because yeah. I could have been like, I could have said something stupid. could have said anything. And then they're like, <laughs> get him off the mic, get him off the mic, get him off the mic in the truck. So he, and then I just was like, earth, people listen to me. I like how I feel right now. 
I want all of you to feel this happiness. And I feel like those who ride for me felt that happiness because of the dram the way the fight turned out, the, the dramatic effect of how the fight just like went from, oh shit, oh no, Alice is going to be in the same spot again as last time. He's about to hurt him. <gasps> yeah. Ah! Crazy. Yeah. That feeling, that feeling, and then just me celebrating afterwards. I feel like those who really fuck with me felt that level of happiness. But again, it was one time in your life. Just one time in your life. I really, and again, I'm blessed to feel this shit over and over and over and over again. And I never take it for granted, man, ever. I was the litmus test. And I can tell you yeah. sitting in front of you that we did, we felt that. Yeah, we me. felt all of it. And you said it. The the one sentence uh, uh, summary is the greatest comeback in the history of combat sports. sports. Yeah. Anyways, like, yeah. and I, I don't, I don't know how many people are like truly grasping that, which is why mm -hmm. like I'm a hypercritical person, bro. Yo, post that shit as many times as you want, though. Me too. Yeah. Like, like, like oh, when you no. kept when you kept posting, I'm like, yo, <laughs> lean into it. Like, the internet has no rules. Who makes these? Even yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. you should have seen me on Valentine's Day, 2020 or well, 2014. This is when I was kickboxing. I was bored one Valentine's Day. I think I I might have had my heart broken at the time. <laughs> And I was fighting that Valentine's Day, and then I seen all these posts about Valentine's Day, and then I'm wait I'm fighting that night already, waiting the night before February thirteenth. It's Adelaide, needs a fury, and then um I came out to Luther Vandross, never too much, but that whole day I think I posted eighty seven times or more, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just like memes, just Valentine memes, and my own caption. My captions were the funniest. Like, memes were funny, but my caption, and then those who loved it loved it, but some people, oh no, this is too much unfollowing. I'm like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> Some people are like, oh, you're only allowed to post twice a day. It's like all these weird unwritten rules. I'm yeah. like, what the who sets these rules? Yeah. Who the fuck? I'm like, nah. But I was in bed that whole day just fucking around posting. And it was funny to see people's reaction. Sometimes I do shit as well just to like get that reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm a, apparently I'm a rebel without a cause, according to my mom. I, I would say that's accurate. I, I, except you got a cause. Yeah, now I do. But when, I was, when I was younger, she'd call me like, you ain't a rebel without a cause. I'm like, what? I didn't even know what it meant. But now I'm like, oh, I get what she means. I mean, so you I like to push the line a little bit sometimes. You really are a, a unique person. I think that's, I mean, what she's Likewise, trying to say. You're, like you're, you guys. You're, I appreciate you're, it. Thank you, bro. You're, yeah, you're, you're paving your own path. You're doing whatever the fuck you want. And uh, you have this like magnetism that, again, people are, are drawn to. Um, and what you said about visualizing it first i think people are going to have a couple reactions to it like like the idea of you having multiple celebrations planned out i totally get right because you've you've lived these moments in your head it's it's when you're in camp that's mm. the one thing you do is you live in your head and you can like ruminate on what that feeling is and then reality just has to catch up yeah facts that's all it is like it's already happened bro people don't like i feel like we understand and certain people when you when you tap into your player one and you are player one of your own life, you can. But a lot of people don't understand and they just kind of like they just go with whatever life gives oh, them. So let me ask then though, because yeah. because you can speak from a really interesting perspective of of reading data meters and then making the what switch. Does that mean? The meters you were reading back in the day. Reading data I, meters. Oh, like, yeah, for my job. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like He's like, what like, does it mean? I was like, I don't fucking know. No, you no, said it. Like, <laughs> like, oh, 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 what was it? Uh, data input for like meters, like gas meters and right. electric meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But okay, so some would say that's a average occupation. Yeah. You know, it, I'm sure it pays well, but yeah. it's it's a job. It did. So, so, so <laughs> like this. <laughs> so when and how do you flip the switch from going... Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to do this to I'm going to be the greatest middleweight champion of the world. Well, when I was doing that, that was a means to an end. That was just like, okay, I need to do this so I can I can work in Auckland and live in Auckland City, which was an expense, still is an expensive city um, at the time, and then live my dream training to be a fighter at kickbox, uh, city kickboxing. Um, I don't know. For me... I always just, uh, I, uh, it's weird. It might be my ego talking, but I always knew I was never going to be just like an ordinary dude. Uh, who put that in my head? I come from a nice family, uh, a, a very uh, affluent family in Nigeria. My parents, they looked after me. They loved me. They disciplined me. Um, and I never, it was always like, as a Nigerian parent, you're, just like, you're either a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, an engineer or a disappointment. <laughs> Those are like the, Those are the five. Yeah. <laughs> or either one. So imagine when I told my Nigerian parents, like, I want to be a fighter. Ah, you want to be a fighter. 
What do you mean? Like, what, who are you fighting? Yeah, who are you fighting? What? what? <laughs> like, I was just because no one from my my side of the world had ever like really made headway in, especially well, in boxing a little bit, but in MMA, mixed martial arts. Yeah. So when I was saying that, I was like, like they they couldn't understand. But thing I always I shot them out for is even though they couldn't understand my dream, they still supported me, mm. no matter what. Mm. And when I was in Auckland, it was times I was down on my luck, you know, and ah. Uh, Pops, can you just like, can you give me 200 bucks? Just, 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 boom. I don't have to pay them back. Now they're enjoying life. I look after them, but like, they're, like, they're my parents. And then like, they didn't understand my dream, but they still supported their son. But then when they start to see the numbers go up, yeah. they're like, ah, ah. Now my parents are analysts. My dad already, <laughs> my dad scoped out the top 10 already. Legit. He scoped out the top 10. He knows how I'm going to beat each and every one of them or how I can beat each and every one of them. Sick. They, like, my dad's a very smart man. He's a very smart man. Even my mom as well, she'll tell me. And then when I'll show Ash or anyone else, they'll be like, it's, that's not bad. And not, like, that's not a bad analysis. That's like legit. That's what you need to do. Like basic shit. So oh. they support me to the fullest now. And my other siblings as well. I paved the way for my siblings, put it that way. They can do whatever they want now because they don't have to be an accountant, doctor, engineer. <laughs> yeah, they can do whatever. <laughs> Or disappointment. disappointment. <laughs> yeah, they can do whatever they want now. So yeah, I paved the way for them. Sure. You had this this thing in you that told you that you were going to be something great. Mm. And I, I have this like curiosity when I look around and I feel like everybody that's doing something great had that feeling. Yeah. You had that feeling. Even even when I was even when I was, you know, 10 years deep in in drugs, like I was like, dude, like this isn't my life. Like I, I'm supposed to do something more than this. Yeah. Do you think everybody has that feeling and and the people that make it are the only people that were able to, to to execute on it or do you think that the people that made it are the only people that have that feeling Ooh, you said you like psilocybin well, now good, execute. Yeah, let's Is go he? let's go okay well i'll <laughs> tell you one thing that deep spot <laughs> each of us i, I learned this well, maybe a couple of years ago each of us apparently there's like Billions and billions of sperms every time you nut. Yeah, billions. Billions, I've Lots heard. Of a lot of sperm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? So, what sorry, what's that? I thought you said something. About nut? <laughs> no, yeah. Sorry, shower thoughts. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like for us to be here, I've seen I've seen an animation of actually how it works and to get to the egg and then break through and then there's a spark, boom, and then oh, you're now a fucking embryo, embryo. or whatever yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey sorry you're an embryo <laughs> yeah so now you're here you won you won the race congratulations <laughs> some people would say you lost bro yeah <laughs> depends how you want to live depends how you want to yeah, live I agree. so when you're in there it's to be here as a gift but a lot of people don't actually realize or actualize the gift everyone i feel and i'm not some philosopher or some guru or whatever but i feel like everyone on this planet has something even people i used to be friends with Example, there's someone I was actually really good friends with. And I told him, I was like, look, because he said his dream one time. And I was like, get it done. I'll help you. I'm his friend. I had influence. I had money. I was like, get it. It, it was actually a good idea. It was, idea was um, instead of having a police come out to the crisis, like, you know, someone's fucking schizophrenic running down the street. Instead of calling the police on them. And then eventually, like, the police don't know how to handle that kind of situation. Get a crisis team that's specifically designed to get there and de-escalate the situation and be trained in handling those kind of situations. So instead of calling like, I thought that was, that's, that's a, a great good idea. idea. Fantastic. So I was like, bro, get this done. This is fucking going to help NZ. I'll help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. What do you do? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. You know why? I don't know why. You got to ask I have him. A theory. I have a theory. Tell me. Because I have a couple friends like this. Yeah. I, I, what else? I, I, I wasn't gonna start a hostage response team. No, what, no, no, no. Yeah. I, well, this one's like I, 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 some, I did these. I did these. Yeah, he's still people, around. No, no, no. It, it, I love Mike. Well, right. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying this. I did this, but he's I'm still around. I'm saying this. Go. Some people have a serious problem executing change. Change is hard. And people some, don't like change. It, it's uncomfortable and it's foreign. It yeah. is the unknown, oftentimes, and mm -hmm. that's a scary leap to take. Are you going to build the out the example of what change I'm avoiding? <laughs> oh, are you talking? You took a while to launch 1010 Burger, dude. Uh, it's but it's did he not do it? easy. Did he do it? Yeah, it's done. Yeah, there he, you go. Yeah, but what are you? But hold on a second. No, he only yeah. did it because Saudi was like, "We are going to do this for bro, you. We'll do but, everything. We'll but handle also, it." And but Mike, also, and Mike had to do it then. No, but, but also, and I don't know how he peeled in it. In Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but he still did it. No, but I don't know how he peeled it. This guy didn't do it. This guy didn't do it at all. 
but also, but also, he may have been doing nothing. I'm, I'm yeah. a co-founder and co-host of one of the biggest podcasts in the of world. Course, I have a massive course. YouTube channel. Yeah. I have a, a best-selling book. I see what, you. No, 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 no. But let him but know. I'm just saying, let me defend let myself. Know. Let, let him know, Big Mike, self, bro. All right. <laughs> but um, fuck. Here's my question. I feel like a therapist now. Couples therapy. No, we need you. Let's bro. go. Can you help us? <laughs> Can you help. I'm actually really good. <laughs> I believe it, dude. I'm, I'm really good. I'm good. Help. You could have been a member of the response team. Ooh. That, that that dude is looking to build Actual, out. This, bro, this is what I'm saying. Things can happen that can help the world change, but it takes people like you, you, me, any of you guys in here to actually make the change happen. But it, no matter how long it takes, that might be your journey at the time. You know what I mean? You had some other stuff to go through. <clears throat> Excuse me, ignore. But um, it's your journey, your time. It's in your timing. But now it's happened. He he. Okay, I, I sh I'll back up a second. He mm -hmm. is right. I don't execute at the speed he does. He's, he's, very Logan different. is, and I'm sure you know this. Yeah. Logan's very uh, mentally strong. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a reason why the results are, are the results that you see from his life. And, and similarly yeah. to you, I, I, I battle some shit that I'm not, haven't perfected yet. And I haven't yeah. worked on as much. Me as, too. I know. There's some shit I have. Yeah. And I'm not perfected. using it as an excuse. Yeah. I'm just saying like, sometimes it, that kind of stuff does get in the way. And I feel like there's probably people watching this that can understand. Him too. I'm sure. But that's okay. Yeah. We all learn at our own pace. Yeah, yeah you do. I don't, I don't know you that well yet to dive in deep into your personal life. But we all do. We all have things that we haven't perfected yet, and we're still learning. But still. I'm kind, I'm kind of um. And I make those mistakes over and over again till life is like, learn, <laughs> learn. <laughs> no, I'll keep repeating. I'm itself. gonna touch the stove. Yeah, ten times out of ten. Even when I know it's ten hot. out of ten, <laughs> I'm touching the stove. <laughs> I'm crazy. Nine too. times out of ten, I'm, I'm but, crazy. But it's 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 that leap. You know what it is? Um, that I think. Maybe gives me an edge over over most people's ability to execute. Mm -hmm. I don't really care if I fail. Risk. I'm not outcome dependent. Yeah. At all. Both. Yeah, it's I'm, not, journey. I'm not. It's I'm the not, journey. It's the journey, dude. I never used to be because I didn't learn that. I didn't learn that. I was focused more on the outcome than the journey until uh, I can't remember what year this was, but it was early on before the UFC. I had to learn like, nah, it's not really about you know the result or if you get here or if you do this. It's about the. the the process, mm. the the act of trying to achieve greatness. There is a quote. What is it? Aim for the stars. You might land on the moon. Yeah, yeah even I, if you I, miss, you'll uh, land on the moon. Yeah. Do you right, ever think like, about that? That kind of might suck. Bro. Shoot for the moon. Uh, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Knows, yeah. Now, astronomically, well, you're not going to make it to any of the actual stars. Are right, too right. far. There's and if there's you did, one, it's a burning ball of gas. It's a burning ball of gas. It's like an analogy. There's one I think about without actually having. If you had a space suit, you just flew into space. You got gas like that, and you'd be dead. And just flew into space like a fucking meteorite. It's forever. Yeah. Now, nah, but it's one that everyone says. It's like, shoot for the stars or the sky's the limit. I'm like, who the fuck said the sky's the limit? Have you ever heard about the universe? Yeah. It goes deep. You know who said that? Huh? Hamza. Who's and that? He, Hamza. Kamaya? Yeah. He what, said the sky's that, the limit? Yeah. No, he didn't make that. He's what? trying to transition. You know what else yeah. he said? What? He said the UFC is protecting you from it. Really? Yeah, what he is that? Said, he said you don't want the, the smoke. When did he say that? Isn't he fighting Kamaru? It's in my notes. It's in the PDF. Could have never been said ever. Our, our producer. Well, I don't see it. You know, chance it was made up. Nah, literally. <laughs> nah, I've heard this. Ray, you saw it recently. He said some shit in the past. Even after my, he always tweets after my fights anyway, but I don't respond to nonsense. Everyone does. There'll be someone. Just, there'll be like, there'll be like five. I'm the, I'm the champ. Even before, even like when Pereira took the belt, I was still the champ. I wasn't the UFC champion. But they still call me champ mm. in the streets because I'm me. I'm Israel Adesanya. Mm. I have that that name, that target on my back no matter what. And I said that even leading up to this last fight. Like, people are like, oh, do you feel the pressure, you know, has been taken off you now that you've lost the belt? I was like, nah, I'm still Israel Adesanya. Like, the, I'm still the last style bender. They want to fight me because I'm one of the greatest in this game right now. Mm. And they want to have me on their mantelpiece or that name like, yeah, I beat him mm. or I fought him. Even if you, Even if you lost to me, it's still like when it's said and done, you'd be like, man, it's I'm not I don't mean this in the in the in the patronizing way, but like you'd be like, man, I fought with Alex even. I'm just like, I I lost to him three times. And I'll tell my grandkids like, yeah, I, I, I lost to him three times, but I got him in the end. Mm. But I'll tell them how he beat me. And I'll still be proud of that that I went through that. I went through that and then came back and beat him. So people always talk shit because it's me. It's whatever, but meh. I got this video of three days ago of you responding to him. For I never. You out. That's a lie. Wait, oh, to Chamzat. Yeah. That's a lie. 
Wallahi, so so all of this is he, fictitious. He, he got, I don't know, he, he bro. You can't crazy. you can't believe MMA media. That's the thing. You like sometimes they'll grab it's like something. Like a soap opera kind of. Yeah, no, nah, they'll gra- they'll grab something and just run with it. And I wouldn't even say shit. After this, after New York, when I when I lost to um, Pereira in New York, I kind of just you know put it this way. I stopped looking at MMA media because I was just like, you know what? Let me get back to real life. Yeah. I train, help my teammates. Uh, I traveled a little bit. I went to Morea, but then I was just. Away from all the the nonsense, the noise, because I was like, I need to like desensitize. This is desensitize. I just need to like move away from that. So whenever you see something, take it with a grain of salt, unless you hear it from the horse's mouth on Freestyle Bender on YouTube. Check it out. <laughs> that's when you know. So you're content. That's He's why so you're content good. Creator. You're a content creator. Content so that's why after my last fight, you know, I, I had a lot of offers. Like people was like, oh, come through. I want to talk to you about this. But I was like, I'm still going through it in my head. Let me. Feel. Everyone wants to be first in this day and age. They want to be first, put it out first. But it's not about being first, it's about being right. right. Yeah. It's like, just, so I just wanted to feel but how is I it felt. Though? But is it though? Because it seems like now it's about being that's first. Them. That's, in, them. In that's them, that's oh, them. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to yeah, play not, not player you. one. Yeah. I play by my rules. That's me. So I was just like, I'm not going to just jump, at, go on this and then do this. And then speak. I want to feel how I feel first. This is the, apart from Young Man Rumble, episode one, this is the first time I'm speaking about this fight publicly. Yeah, on any other platform. Because we asked you to come on right yeah. after it, and you and you said you wanted to oh, do yeah, your- Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, you did. Yeah, again, I had not just you. I had a few, a lot, like because you know it was such a great story. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. sure. They want to get it like yeah. fresh. But I was like, nah, let me let me marinate this. Let me feel. So yeah, that's bullshit. I don't know what he's. I don't even know if he actually said that. What but, about what about this other note that I have about go, right, John Jones? What would he do? He said that you were his currently his favorite fighter. That's a lie. What the fuck? Bro, yo, yo, call, call Dylan. <laughs> call, call Dylan. Get him on the phone. Hey, 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 John, me, John Jones lo- said you're he current. He likes me, but he's not, not going to put that out publicly. Hell no. It'll never put it's, it dude, okay, okay. Here's where I got to draw the line. Ne- it's inside lie. quotes. It's inside actual quotes. <laughs> on the PDF, bro. It's it inside. It must be real. Yo, <laughs> on a PDF. I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. Nah, I'll read it to you. Nah, <laughs> on a PDF, you can't lie on a PDF. Bro. How you going to lie on the PDF? is? Out. He said. Out, Sway. How you going to lie on a PDF, Sway? It's a PDF, dude. You ain't got the answers. I'm going to read you the quote. Now, nah, but D- Dylan makes stuff up sometimes. He said, Dylan? he said, I hate to say this. He's our producer. He makes the PDF. Oh, nah, he's doing this shit to fuck with you guys. He's trying to get No, there's clicks. some stuff in here that like- He's, he's trying to get clicks. Oh, he's fired. I mean, he's, fu- he's fired. True. That's all. Well, at least you have me here to set, set the record straight. Is he- that Dylan? No, 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 no. He's not here. He didn't make it to- Bro, bro, bro. bro. <laughs> this, this is the Rico. quote. This is the quote from John Jones. Yeah. In, Ash, the, in the UFC, my favorite fighter right now, I hate to admit it. I hate to admit it. But I would say Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya. And there's twice. It says it twice. That's a lie. Him and I are not friends, but That's he's probably lie. the most entertaining guy in the organization right now. That's a lie. Did you hear this? I'm Googling. But in the meantime, can you help me? Uh, Matt, can you help me one of these, please? Thank so you. so wait, Sorry. so you're telling me my producer Matt, produced Matt, Matt, a He lies. Bro. He lies. Hold on, hold on. Lies! <laughs> wait, assume it's true. Assume it's true. Nah. <laughs> Bro, huh? okay. This is fishy. It's true. It's true. Are you serious? Yeah, I hate to admit it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, is there a chance the Hamzat story is no true way. as well? Is there a no chance way. the Chimeyev story is real too? <laughs> I, I, I'm getting That's your funny. because it sucks because this is my job, right? And so now I'm looking like I'm over here looking like a fucking lying. idiot. I was like, nah, he's lying. There's no fucking way. I not because the Hamzat one. I was like, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Sometimes I'll get shit, and then like David or my family group chat, maybe my friends group chat will send something. And I'm just like, oh, that's where I get news from. Cause I don't follow these pages. Well, the pages I don't really like, cause I know like they just ah, and just clickbait shit. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah. So I'll hear things secondhand, and I'll check, and I'm like, oh, and if I have to respond or want to respond, I will. But not. Nah, is that true? Yeah. What was that? I, I want to see. <laughs> that's funny. Is it, you can go back to Israel, him and I are not friends. We've never met. We've never had a real conversation. So how the fuck are we going to be friends if we've, if we've never had a real conversation, like a proper one? Ov has beef and I ain't vegan. <laughs> but it's in Russia right now. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, even he picked against me in the last five. I saw that because he beat Cyril. You can watch my... Look, catch. Sorry, my bad. I want to... I mean, that's got to be cool. You guys are getting exclusive that's- now. I don't even like to talk about this shit, but like you watch, like for me, I'm all- growth. 
growth is something you have to go through as a, as a human being, as a man, especially maturity. Um, there was a point, yeah, where we were like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and it's ah oh, fuck. I came to the UFC and I felt like it's up to him to admit this. I felt like he was a fan, but then he was kind of like, ah, oh, is another you know, like a you know another coming in this game and just like taking the shine but there's enough room for us to shine there's no this is not like a even fucking i said that about henry cejudo when he was talking shit about me and i felt like i'm not even your weight class you're a munchkin like you don't have to hate on me for doing what i'm doing like just we can be in our own lanes and be great i've been a fan of john since i saw him at ufc 92 he fought stephen bonner rest in peace bless oh sure, rest sure. In peace and I saw what he did in that fight. No, UFC 94. What Thank am you, I bro. saying? That was UFC 94. You, uh, BJ Penn versus St. Pierre 2. No. Sheesh. Hold up. You, yes. You were student, yes. student of the game. Where yeah. were you just looking right there? Not nah, well, in the ether. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go through. I was like, the Rotodex. I was like, which one was it? And I'm looking at the posters. I'm like, You had yeah. to get through all the prayer posts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first and then I was like, okay, cool. Get out of my way. I'll yeah. you so, right I now. mean, I was a fan. So, And then I, I think he was as well. But then... He mentioned something about like, oh, I'd like to fight Israel. And I was like, why the fuck does this guy want to fight me? I'm middleweight. But then I responded back and then we had beef. And then for a few years, it was like that. Then after I fought Costa, it went really deep. And then that was a fight. That was around the time it could have happened. But I don't know what happened. Scheduling, COVID reasons, whatever. And I fought Jan. But um, yeah, real recognized real. I put it that way. That's real. I thought that was a joke. Bro, I'm telling you, I... Oh, as okay, maybe, 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 okay, my bad to the producer. What's his name again? Dylan. Sorry, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> wait, wait, who's Dylan? Is he's, not, Dylan? he's not here. Okay, he's not here. Nah, he's like so, a remote producer. Yeah. Cheers, cheers, bro. Yeah, cheers, 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 lads. Likewise, Mike, cheers. cheers Just bro. fist bump. Yep. Yes. So, okay. So, at, at least I have a little bit more faith in our, in our PDF at this yeah. point. Yeah, oh, my bad. Sorry, I was like, the PDF can lie. <laughs> you don't have to trust the, hey, Mike, look at me. You don't have to always trust the PDF. Dude, just question. I want to be able to. No, 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 no. But just. Have a little bit of like, just question everything. Just Do you to make question sure. everything? Fuck yeah. Even, everything. My, even myself. You have to question every. Even myself. I'll question myself on certain things. Uh, that's how you grow. For sure. Because, uh, okay, not recently, but f I have, uh, how many years ago? I kind of like, even your, because we all grew up with programmings from our parents, from school. Society. Yeah. Society, whatnot. And then you grow up with these beliefs you had. And then you just, it's just what you believe. Then you grow up and you're like, that's just how, it, that's how I feel. So a lot of people don't do like pause and, oh, hang on. Where did I get that from? Yeah. Who, what's one? Marriage. That was one I was just like, oh, this is what you do. You just get da, 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 da. It wasn't until I was in college and in my design history class, this lady, my tutor, shout out to Lynn Hurst. She was the one that kind of like, um, used to challenge us a little bit. And she challenged us on the notion of marriage. And I was just like, and then she challenged us like, and I thought about it. I was like, look, I'm the kind of person, if you give me new information and it's, it makes sense to me and it's credible, I am able to change my mind. And it might be like that. It literally might like a, like a paradigm shift and just like, oh shit, that makes sense. Huh. And I'm not, I'm not attached to any idea or ideology where I'm just like, oh, because a lot of people are like that. Politics, religion, I, I'd whatnot. Say, I'd say most people are like that. Yeah, and the they just hold on to, be, to it. To be flexible and adapt one's mind is kind of I've, foreign. I've been here for so. I've held on to this for so long. Yeah. I can't. If I let go of this, then who am I? Yeah. yeah, but how do you? Yeah, but how do you navigate in this age of disinformation, misinformation, misguidance, question everything, guidelines? Yeah, everything. but yeah, but then when you get answers to those questions, yeah. you have to question those answers. If I'm fine, wrong, fine. yeah, but yeah, but if I but guess what? If I if I'm wrong, oh fuck. I got that wrong. Oh well, that makes sense for me. Oh, okay, that's that's foolproof fact. Cool. Then I then if I find out that's fact, cool. But if I'm wrong, excuse me. I'm not is, why is it always we're a burp? Make a, then make a, a compilation. Why is it always a burp? Then a <laughs> do it. Yeah, that's that's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's uh, it might be a stomach thing. I don't know. Doc, a doctor said it once. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but even if he said Robert, it, like, uh, trust him. Sorry. Like True. you got to question that. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it a stomach thing? I've checked it out because I, I don't feel I don't feel like it's affecting me yet. Right, right. If I feel like to a point where it starts to affect my life in a negative way, then I'm I'm gonna get professional help. But everything <laughs> I mean, I mean that honestly, question everything. For sure. Even myself, I question myself. Example, um, why I would feel okay years ago, years ago 
one of my friends was working in the mines in Australia and I was living in New Zealand and I just, this 2010, I just moved to Auckland to start pursuing this dream of being a fighter. And he's like, bro, come to the mines. I'm making 2,500 a week Australian, you know? And it was very enticing. He's got like two weeks on, a week off, you know? And I'm just like, fuck, I wanted to. And I found myself kind of just like, stop, I, I stopped picking his calls. I stopped really replying to his texts as immediately. Then I was like, wait, I caught myself like, hang on. Why am I, why am I feeling jealous? This is 2010. Mm. I found myself like, why am I feeling jealous of him? I was like, he's not doing anything that's affecting me. But I found myself feeling jealous of his position. I was like, oh shit. And I feel like once you identify that monster, you can kill it. What you're describing yeah. is called self-awareness. Yeah. Wow. Player I mean, one. I met a lot of people. I'm not a bot. I'm not a you're, fucking you're a real person. I'm not an NPC. I don't roll around and just. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, this is nice today, isn't it? Press A. Like I'm not. I'm, I don't play that. A lot of people do. Fuck. Jeff's seen it. Jeff's watched me with fucking many fans, and it literally. Shout out to my fans. I love my fans, but I also meet a lot of NPCs, and it's they. It's, you're not unique. They all have the same storyline. They all the same. Sometimes the same dialogue you know what i mean i'm sure you've got this as let, well let me let me let me say something yeah i think that's gonna rub a lot of people the wrong way i also think you're extremely fucking right unfortunately that's where we're at the world i, the I world, say how the, it is the Fuck world needs fame. Drones. i love the perks bro the world needs drones and i love I, my fans i think a lot of people aren't gonna take life into their hands like you have they yeah. have to if they want to be player one if they want to really like be the controller hold the controller of their life and play i've said this before it's on record i've been like I love my fans individually. When I've met some some fans individually and they they come with respect and I give them respect back, I'll give you even more time. You've seen me, Jeff. Correct or no? So there you, we go. You reciprocate energy. 100%. Yeah. But then when you come with entitlement yeah, and the on. same NPC dialogue and you like you think I owe you some shit, then I'll just like, no, what I'm not doing they, this. What are they asking you for? What are, these, what are they saying to you? It's, I either want a photo or something, but sometimes also they want more as well. If you give them an inch, I've learned. If you give them, you've seen this. Come on, man. You've been in this game so long. You give them an inch to take a mile. But for me, when I talk about this, like individually, I really like fans. But sometimes in mobs, they're so stupid. Most times in mobs, they're so stupid. Mob mentality. There you go. Yeah. It's for the fucking pack. Oh, they all saying this, so this must be true. And then they just like same rhetoric and they're just it's, like But it's but it's human nature, is he? Yeah. It's human nature. Just like just like I, I want to touch on the self awareness thing, because I've yeah. met a ton of people with amazing qualities. But yeah. the one quality that I cannot get past if you don't have it is self awareness. True. If you have no regard to what you're putting out, how you're acting, and like ability to identify what you're feeling and why, yeah. you're gonna be a tough person to be around. So question yourself. That's why. Always, and you I, do as well. I can tell. I, I do, but I'm hypercritical. But like, I think it's a, I think it's a general note for a lot of a lot of people. Well, it's a learn. It's also a learning process. I mean, yeah. you weren't you weren't always a self aware. I wasn't. Individual. No, I have no, to. no, not, no, not, no, not, no, not, no, no. I know. Like, I wasn't like, either. No, but yeah. I'm saying, and I surely wasn't either. And you have to grow into it. It's definitely something that comes yeah. with wisdom and time and learning and for sure. and, and better understanding the for world sure. around you. I for feel sure. like it's always there, though. There's always a whoever you are in your life. There's always a point where you you could have that. And some people are blessed with that. But I feel like there's always a point where you could have that opportunity to like, okay, why did I feel that way? How did that make me feel? Why did I choose that decision instead of this one? And then I literally will sit down. I used to be a night owl. In camp, not so much these days. I get sleep because I realize sleep is fucking important. Super. It's really good. And it's one of the best. Eugene was telling, my coach was telling me this for years. And then when I finally one day I had this epiphany, I told him, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been telling you, dog. Yeah, actually, and then I was like, "Yeah, I know, I know," but I finally get it, and I realized. So when I used to be a night owl, though, I'd be up all night. I might be stoned. I might be sober. I might be on YouTube. I might just be chilling. I might just be in my head. But I'll just go through certain scenarios in my head again. In the in, in the what do you call it? Like the stimu like the simulation. The just figure, figuring shit out, figuring out myself. How do I feel? How do how do I want to live my life? What do I want to do? Checking so, in, checking yeah. in with yourself. Yeah, checking yeah. in with myself. That's my time. You know why? Because the whole world sleep. That's why I liked it. Everyone else was asleep. Vamp life, night owl. Yeah. I was like, everyone was asleep. I, I felt like Batman, but just in my house. You know what I feel like? Yeah. You know what I feel like gives people that ability to check in with themselves, that prime. ability to be self aware is is prime. <laughs> um, no, 
no, no, being humbled. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that pride, really? How? I actually almost, I was like, and I caught what you said. I was like, ah, I see. Where are you going? He oh, does okay, it, bro. I, I hate when he does Oh, no, go do it. No, no, go do it. Better, better. I drank too much prime. Yeah. Great drink, but I really gotta <laughs> go do your thing. Go do your thing. Nah, it's, uh, I have a theory that everyone could use a good humbling. And, and for some reason, unfortunately, but fortunately in the long term, Taking an L, failing, falling short is the most beneficial thing that can happen to a human being. Facts. Obviously, when it happens, it's, it's the worst thing ever. Yeah. But if you can learn from it and yeah. grow from it, you're going to be so much stronger and know so much more than you would have had that not happened. Facts. You see um, New York, after I lost, right, I get, for the third time, lose to this guy. Second time by knockout or TKO. Mm. Um, you know, I go backstage, I, um, I go backstage and I see my family, my, well, actually this, the New York one, I didn't invite my family to only my brother, my brother, David was the only person I allowed. Cause he's, he works for, you know, he actually invented my YouTube channel. So shout out to him. Uh, he, made, he made freestyle, uh, he made it happen. So I, I let him come because he does a lot of the filming and what, whatnot. Just too much on the line. I just felt like. I wanted to be soldiers only. That was my that was my that was my quote for that camp. I was like soldiers only. Mm. If you're not a soldier, mm. I don't want you here. And I didn't want. I told my family specifically. I was like, I don't want you guys here because I didn't want to deal with all that. But then I, I saw him backstage, and I made I let him know I was okay. I called my family straight. Away. I was like, I'm okay. I just want them to know I was okay because I know that my mom would have sure. been crying. Yeah, I know sure. my sister would have been crying. Sure. I was like, I'm okay. I'm fine. And then something that um, shout out to Andrew Schultz. He said. He uh, when I did the flagrant, you he's did like, it right after the loss, right? The next day, I thought that was a, I thought that was an amazing decision. I did hot ones. I thought also the press conference as well. I rolled up. Guess what? I wore my AP on. Yeah, fur coat, shirtless. Yeah. I was outside. Fe I felt like you were unaffected. That because I've had worse shit happen to me. Yeah, the world don't know about it though because I don't put my shit out there like that. But I've had worse shit. Ha I've lost in life and love and friends and family. I've had so much worse shit happen to me, even with myself. So I was just like, this is nothing. But then, because it's on a world stage, I feel like everyone's looking at how they would take this loss through my lens. So they're like, oh, fuck, is he okay? Is he okay? But the one thing Andrew said was like, seeing you, because even when he saw me, it was like, on the point, like, seeing you be okay made me feel okay. Mm. So it's like, oh, okay, it's okay. Like, he's okay, so we can, we can chill. I felt that too. Yeah. I felt that too. I follow Andrew. I love care. Andrew. That's why, like, yeah. I, 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 I saw it and I, and I went, oh, I thought this was going to be like devastating for Everyone him. thinks I was like, oh, like, I'm going to hide under a rock. Yeah. And just like cry for days. I guess I hate losing. I fucking hate losing. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I hate losing. But, and it's not a flex, but I know how to take a loss because I've taken it so many times in my life in different avenues. So this for me, I was just like, it's just fighting. I've lost before and I've come back and I'm fine. And normally when I come back from a loss, I knock the other guy out. Yeah. Wallahi. Every each of my losses from boxing, uh, kickboxing, MMA. Even this last one, I just lost to him. I came back and I knocked him the fuck out. Are you religious? I'm spiritual. <laughs> 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 so, so LA. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> You've been in LA for two yeah. well, also, yeah. also, I, I, I stay from, from the devil's asshole. I, I, I love LA and Vegas. I love those places, but actually, if, even in Vegas, I just have to live off the strip. Same with LA. I just have to stay away from the city. But I just, I know me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where would you, Izzy, where what does would it you? mean? What does it mean? <laughs> No, 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 I just, I, I know me and I know, I know my limits and I know what I can um, handle or deal with because I'm human at the end of the day. I'm regular. I'm just another dude, but I do extraordinary shit because I am player one. But um, yeah, I, I just know um, I'm, I, I am, I grew up in a religious household, but when I was young, Sunday school, I remember asking, I've told this before, have I told this before? Yeah. Oh, you know the story. Yeah. Okay. I remember asking like my Sunday school teacher, well, if God made the world, then who made God? And no one had an answer for me. I asked my parents I, and then I asked my housemates and one of my aunties. I remember I kept on asking for like a whole week and she goes, if you keep asking that question, you go mad. I was like, hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, yeah. For, then that was when I was like, okay, 
I don't think these adults really know what's happening. <laughs> I don't think, because I was probably like seven, eight. But I remember thinking like, no one has it. Like, because I was just like, it's a simple question. I was like, oh, God made the world in seven days. He created, let there be light, boom, Genesis, you know, whatever verse that is. And then I remember just like asking like, well, if God made the world, who made God? And then no one had an answer for me. So then I had to, now over the years, I've gone through a, a renaissance with, religion in a sense where like i know how many people wrote the bible i know it was written by so many different men it was misconstrued and then there's the new Kim, king james version but i've also again i've been on some trips where i feel like i've i've been there you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I was like, oh, and then we connect and we talk or not English, but like, you know, and I'm just like, okay, bet. And then now I'm in a spot in life where even recently, like you see some of my posts, I'm like, yeah, you know, thank God. I saw it today. Yeah, I don't like using, like the word God got really triggering for me at a certain, a, a certain like phase of my life because it felt like, it was almost like the word, um, what's the word? It's almost like, it was like a, People have like used it, overuse it in a way where it's like, oh, it doesn't really mean what it means. Even like woke. Woke used to be fucking like, if you're woke. It was a good thing. You see what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. But now like woke is like these other people. Of, like, over, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like a negative connotation yeah. with it. So you can't really use it in that sense. I, hey, shout out to Engage. Stay woke, stay broke. Isn't it, isn't it crazy to see to see a, a, a terminology or a word Change. have such a flop? Uh, Gays flop to me like happy. That? Now you means you right. like right. men or women of the same sex. But it, but, you know? but yeah, two d different definitions is one thing. But to have something go from a good thing to just a severe bad thing is just wild. That's, uh, it's but weird. it's also life. Yeah, some some words are like that. So I've seen that with woke and I've seen that with religion and the word God for me was like that at a certain point in my life through my maybe not teenage years, maybe like 19. Okay, I started drinking at 18. Not that I didn't believe in God, but I just like, uh, I started, now I lost my virginity. What? And then 18. Did that's, that help you that believe in God That surprises me. Did, yeah. Why? You thought I was a whore? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know, bro. You, no, no, good, no, no. good looking tall dude. Yeah, like, I wasn't always this way. I, I I bloomed very late. I was just, I was short. I had a same size head, skinny body, so I looked like a lollipop. Uh, and I was, yeah. <laughs> also a black kid who moved to New Zealand. I wasn't really what people was looking for. So hey, ain't about where like, you start, bro. I ain't even you done yet. Like, I ain't even like, I'm still glowing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still glowing up. Yeah. But um yeah, so for me, um, I don't know where you're going with that question, but like, yeah, the word religion for me, I won't say I'm religious, but I understand that at in this world, we're was it we're spiritual beings living a human existence. Jake, Jake, you and Jake would have it. Bro, me and Jake at day. that party after yeah, you, you know, uh, yeah, in uh, LA. Get shit out of the breath work, I was at the house. I was at the house, oh and then God. we yeah, oh me and Joe. So at the party, I pulled up to the house. I choked you from the back. Yeah. I was like, I whispered some sweet nuns in your ear. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, we're chilling. I seen Jake shirtless with like two watches, five chains on. <laughs> and then me and him eventually like, just like dished everyone and just kind of like walked around the house with like two other people and then just yarned and just talked about yeah. life. Yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, so me and him just like connecting. That was where I first realized like, cause I didn't really know who you guys were like properly. Cause I didn't really- That was the first night we met. Yeah, yeah, but like I mean, like on TV or YouTube and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but because yeah. even before that fight, I had to do my research to be like, okay, what does he do? And I learned so much about him, and I was like, seeing all the stuff he was getting, all the hate and whatnot. Like, oh, this guy, this is, I think it was a second boxing fight. Yeah, he beat Nate Robinson. Yeah, so it wasn't into your boxer, and I was kind of like talking to him that night, and I realized like, oh shit, he's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> no, <Nah>, literally, <laughs> that, that, was, was, nah, that was the realization. <laughs> Because I, I never met him before. No, I was like, oh, he's crazy. I was like, he's legit. He really wants to do this. And then every time anyone asked me about that, about him since I met him, excuse me, that night, uh, reflex. Or is that is that what is that what it is? Like Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll see a doctor. I'm alive. <laughs> as far as we now, know. But, um, but, but, that, but that night, though, I remember like there's, there's a point, though, we're just chilling, talking for ages. I, was, like, I, I stole one of his ideas in his room at that house with a tank. But I had another idea with it. I was gonna put it at the like the beds here, the headrest, and it was gonna be in the wall, like literally a fish tank in the wall. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, because I like the way it illuminated yeah, the room. Yeah, it was cool. So we're chilling, and I was just like, 
he's crazy. Yeah. He's going to do this. Like, or if he, either he's crazy enough to, to make it happen or he's going to fail, but he's crazy enough to try. And guess what? I can relate because when I was coming up, it was like, I'm going to win King in the Ring on this day. I would tell anyone who was going to watch or who I worked with at that time, I think months before, I'd be like, I'm going to watch King in the Ring on October. Da, 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 da. I'm going to win this tournament, this uh, kickboxing tournament. Like, oh, okay, good luck. Uh, like people would look at you like, the fuck? This guy's just telling me. And then when I won, first thing I did was, told you so. Yeah. <laughs> and I won <laughs> two more times after that. And then two different weight classes. So I understood from that point. I was like, he crazy. Yeah, and I he like is. that. I like that. So yeah, I'm not, I'm just feel like we're... I've learned this recently, like over the last two years, maybe like we are spiritual beings living a human existence. We're not humans who then go into like the ether or whatever. Who knows? I've never died. Who knows? Yeah. But who I've been knows? to the other side a little bit. I'm sure you've had a couple of ego deaths. Yeah. Not a couple. Yeah. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A couple. Also, how do you know you've never died? Like, like, how do you know you're not a reincarnation of, of another? That's player one. Okay, uh, player one. Okay, you know what? That's player one. New right life, there. new life. Um, I don't. <laughs> Question everything. I don't. No, that's what, <laughs> also, one thing I'm not afraid to do as well is just admit, well, I don't know. Yeah. Because right. a lot of people want to feel like, especially on the platform, you're on the podcast, you're like, I don't want to look dumb. Like, I don't have an answer. Powerful words. Yeah. But I'm like, I don't I, know. I don't know. Yeah. So, even maybe this is like the last year and a half, two years. Yeah. I just like. Actually, I don't know because everyone wants to feel like they know. Everyone wants to feel like they're smart. They yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson or some shit on anything or with even Bitcoin. Oh yeah, I'm the I know this and that and then I don't know. Yeah, I I have no Very idea. Very powerful words. Let's find Very out. But but guess what that does? It relieves you of the responsibility or the is it responsibility? It relieves you of the the fallout if you Account act like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, and you try to pretend you do, and then eventually like oh shit. Yeah, I fucked that up, you know? And then you get to learn. You actually get to learn if you just say, I don't know. Also, even it's good for yourself to say, I don't know. Then you kind of like verbalize it. And like, oh, I'd like to find out. Mm. So actually, I don't know if we've died and this is a reincarnation. I have no idea. I'm not going to be one of these people that I was a warrior in my past life <laughs> and this and that. I might have been a fucking watermelon salesman in my past yeah. life. You might have been a watermelon. Say, yeah, like I don't know. I was thinking of Avatar. What's the guy on Avatar? The cabbage. My cabbage is... I know, I know. You're yeah, about. that guy. Yeah, my, I might have been that guy in my past life, and the one before that might have been a fucking dung beetle or some shit. Yeah, you know. But now <laughs> this is where I'm a warrior in this lifetime. Yeah, and man. Who knows? If I die and then I get reconnected, I might be a dung beetle again. Prime Jeff. energy. <laughs> I'd be prime energy. <laughs> <laughs> might be Jeff's son. <laughs> I'd be that dude's son right there. Yeah. I feel like I should mention the whole reason why you're here like what's happening I, we're at the what? end of the podcast but uh are we at the end already i mean no i, I want to get volk yeah, i want to <laughs> yeah, get volk hey. you know <laughs> the greatness uh but no dude um you mean while i'm wearing this fucking nice ass that's what i'm saying yes, by the way right vbs dude, that's like 250 g's right there nah dude we're nice. serious we're, no way we're, no it's, Bro. Not, it's not 250 it's not 250 i was gonna it's, say it's, drake gave me a nice chain too so no, I think it's, it's I think it's between it's twenty and twenty five. That's nice though. It's, it's not even about the price. <laughs> Fuck the price. It's about what it signifies. I feel like I'm in my prime right now. Let's go. I'm in my prime Let's right go. now, and I'm riding this shit. So this right here, it fits so perfectly. I mean, dude, it's an honor to give that to you. To give that to Volkanovski. Uh, for those who we saw the announcements, it. man, the most disruptive beverage in history has just signed two of the best fighters in the world to our team. And you guys are the first two official prime athletes. Bam, 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 bam. Israel Adesanya, Alexander Volkanovsky. Yes, and that is representative of this, I guess, first venture we have into sponsoring athletes. Appreciate it. Man, we're so, so, so. I got to give you a chain as well, but I'll find a logo or something. I'll give you one later on. Whatever we'll you want, we'll man. We'll figure I, it I out. Know, I know you got engaged. I, I yeah. would like some. He gave me, actually, he was the first one. Ash from Bill Castro was the first one. Oh, is that mine? Me. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Speaking oh, of I which, got a backpack. I got, got you a backpack. Oh, that shit's My God, we going camping. You can share some stuff as well. Yeah, bet. The haunted tea and some new ones as well. You'd like sharp, so, yeah. sharp, sharp, sharp. Oh, no worries, man. But nah, bro, we 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 glad to have you on the team. I'm I'm stoked Thank you came you. out here and choked me out with your boys. It wasn't me. It was Craig. Fuck Craig Jones. You it got me with him. the triangle. 
Oh yeah, I oh, watched no, the video no, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I, I you forgot did? at first. Oh. No, I, I forgot to. You just reminded me. I was like, oh yeah. No, yeah, it was. A, it, no wait, the, you got out the. Oh, the first I got one, out the first, the first time, one. Yeah, the second yeah, one you yeah. That's it up. right. Yeah, but true, bro, true. I only got out because you, you said not, you but could one get thing, out. Nah. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, it's not. It was tight, but I was like, if I wanted to cinch it up, I could. But I was like, nah, you can get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you then got out. I was like, good, good, good. I'm a good coach as well. You are, dude. I'm not one of these guys who just. Also, one thing I appreciate, you don't roll with ego, because I've had some people in the past when I go to certain gyms. All over the world, and it's just like people, you know, I'm Israel this one, yeah. I'm the I'm the champ or I'm coming up or whatever back then. And they're just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna it's my chance. This is my chance to like show up. I'm just like, bro, even sparring. I'm like, no, it's not about nah. ego. I, it's about learning. And never, ever, yeah. ever. I mean, nah, as, but I like that. And I know you I also am. I know you were tired and not you haven't been trained like I have, or he has. But like, yeah, I, you, I, you, you, you're you strong. That's one thing I'll say. You're very strong, but also you're capable. Thanks. Yeah, capable. Uh, yeah, I might have to do a-, a One, just UFC one. Fight. Just yeah, one. Nah, no, you do one. You will do one. I know you'll do one. Even Jake will do one. But it's about finding the right opponent that'll sell. Let me tell you something that's a that's slightly problematic. Walk. <laughs> Are we about to get impulsive? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, Are your impulsive thoughts about to win? No, 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 no. This it's it's not an impulsive thought. It was an impulsive seed that blossomed into what's like a like a kind of it could be a redwood one day. What's but a redwood tree? A, it's a yeah, big yeah, ass tree. fucking girthy tree. Oh, I love a girthy tree. <laughs> I, I had this idea. I had this idea one day. I said to myself, I don't think there's ever been a simultaneous WWE, UFC, and boxing champion at the same time. They ain't fighting me. You're the same weight class as me. I'm not fighting you. It's not. We not can't. We, no, no, we can't. We. I won't. I won't. No, I won't do good. it. Don't I won't do, do it. it. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Sit down. Izzy, Izzy. Sit down. No, no, no. I won't do it. Good. I'm yeah, telling good. you, right. even, even after today, I'm not going to do it. No, no, it's not even that. It's just like for me, like to get to, to no disrespect, but to get to where I've gotten to Dog, and do what I've done. You don't even have to. Okay, don't okay, say okay. It. What's on the turn? Yeah, there we go. Don't say it. This this is where I love you. I love you for that. The respect. Thank you. Thank you. Self awareness, brother. Self awareness, brother. God, Doug. You just went up in my book, legit. Don't be silly. You just went up in my book. Yeah. Here's here's what happened in my head. You know, I'm an optimist. I'm an idealist. I have the visions in the showers too. Of course. Uh, I said to myself, I how big is shower right now? I'm gonna be honest. It's about half the. It's big, dude. Let's go. I could I could do a lot. I want that so bad. It's got two heads. I want that so bad. It's good. Two heads. Two rainforests. I could go from. Let's go. Laps. Laps. Let's go. That's the one. But I said to myself, I could. I could probably do WWE. I feel confident I can I get a WWE downstairs. championship. They made it for me. It's a replica. It's not real. But I could. <laughs> but I could probably. I could probably cinch a WWE championship. I'm, yeah, I'm confident. I Barry? think I could do it. I think so. Boxing, is one of the like lower tier. There's a hundred different like like who. What is you a real boxing yeah, yeah, championship I know, I know. nowadays? Hey. I ran into a problem with the UFC championship. Why? Because you, because <laughs> you got the belt. I'm not yes, doing uh, it. I, good, I won't good. do it. I appreciate. Even Jake, when Jake said that, I, someone sent it to me. I think David sent it to me ages ago. I said about uh, Jake said you're the only fighter who would never fight. And I was like, oh, respect. Because you know why? You know, sometimes when I, when I meet people, and then when I, you know they'll say something to my face, and when I leave, it's a different story. I'm just like, what the fuck? I mean, that's life. That's people. Yeah, I know. But like, especially at this level, especially, you know, with what we do as athletes as well. I'll say that after off air. But I was an athlete and I was like, what the fuck would you say that stupid shit? Like, I was right in front of you. No, my story, you know? won't, my story won't change. No, nah, but no, nah, I, nah, nah. I, no, I have no interest in that. No, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank of course, you. bro. Of course. Love that. Love that. Thank you. And also, uh, look, I like you. Thanks. I respect what you're doing. I respect what both of you are doing because against all odds, against the naysayers, and saying, nah, you can't, because they didn't really know your background. You still said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. And you did it. I have to. You know what I mean? I Even that right there, I was not excited for that fight. I was like, what the fuck? Is, what are you, I was like, no, 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 listen. I was like, what the fuck? You should not be in the ring with him. Yeah. But guess what? You were. And yeah. I found myself the day before getting excited. He got it on tape. And I found myself the day before getting excited, like, oh shit, it's gonna happen. And then when it was about to happen, it was a Victoria 2 fight. I remember, because at the hotel. It was a Victoria 2 fight in Houston? No, it was in uh, Arizona. Arizona. Fuck, one of them. <laughs> and then the day it happened, I was like, this is happening. Yeah. Holy shit, this is happening. And then like, there was a point where you rocked him or you did something and he started to spaz on him. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I pressed all the buttons on the controller, shit. dog. Bro, honestly, not nah, because you crazy. went, but he just shelled up. He's just like, let yeah, me hold on. But then the thing is, because you're so big, you can fuck him up. Like, even if you hit him even behind the head, show, yeah. you know? And I was just like, spazzing out. But guess what? It was entertaining. It yeah. was a sporting moment. And he's already a great. Like, I look, even if you knocked him out, I would never, 
I would never be like, oh, now Floyd is done. I'm like, nah. What he did when he was really like boxing, boxing with those guys, that's dope. But now he's doing all, you know, exhibitions. If he gets caught, he gets caught. Or if you yeah. knock him out or whatever, that's yeah. cool. But it would have still been a good story for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It you did well. You did well in that fight. You didn't get knocked out. Thanks. Because guess what? Nah. Yeah. You didn't get knocked out. I mean, that was that was low-key the goal. I think afterwards yeah. I gained the confidence that I wish I would have had beforehand. Like weathering Floyd the weather does something Hindsight. to you. Of course. Like, Come on. I was, I was excited, bro. It felt like a glitch in the simulation. Yeah, facts. Who it's said that? It's I think there was a point when you were looking at the camera while they were announcing your name. I did. I recognized you. You were like, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. I hey, said it. I said it right you before. You broke the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You bro. broke the fourth yeah, wall. Where's you, your bro. drink at? I want to cheers you too. Here we go. Yeah, give him one. Yeah, cheers, Mike. See, that's my my love language is touch. So all my boys complain about it. Not complain. They just noted it to me one time that I dap people up a lot when I when I'm because I like to. It's good. I think also, one of the I think the only picture I have with you is us tapping each other up. Bet. In Australia. Yeah, so. in, in Whatever my teammates, I if like with the boys, that is, if I don't sexually harass you, we're not friends. I feel that. I gotta smack your dick, I gotta smack your ass, I, I grab that. your tits. We're ah, supposed, to, we're that's supposed to go to the casino tonight, and I'm kind of scared now. Now you be fine, you be fine. Don't worry. It's all above pants. It's mild. Above <laughs> shorts and shit. Yeah. PG, on some PG shit. Like grinding on the thigh. Hey, High school. Dude, the chick I'm with might try to fight you. Yeah. Bro. No, no, me, I'm good. <laughs> bro, what chick? I'm good. I ain't trying to do none of that. I'm she just chilling, man. To, she might try to fuck you. She'd too, lose. <laughs> <laughs> she would lose. She would lose. <laughs> I don't discriminate. It's all right, man. If you can crawl, we can bro. I said it already. <laughs> Speaking mm. of all this touching, this is what I meant. There's a lot of meat. In this so podcast. much. I mean, let's get some more meat That's on what? here. Well, I mean, fuck. hey, let's get cooking with Volk. Where you at? That's what I'm saying. We got to do a whole right. Volk podcast. Yeah. I'm going to sit right there. I'm going to watch. Yeah. So, you, so you're trying to get this Hamza fight or what? Hamza. He's going he's to Kamaru next. Aren't, they, aren't you different? You're different weight Different weight, weight classes. classes. But he missed his last fight. Did he miss weight? Oh, he was know. way over. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, yeah. don't wait. Get, trust me. I'm not scared of no one on this fucking planet. Yeah. No one. And also, yeah. guess what? I like a challenge. <laughs> I like a challenge. You know what I mean? That presents something unique. That I haven't. Oh, I've seen wrestlers before, bro. It's a big fight. It's a big it's a fight. big fight. You it's know what? Very big talk. fight. Like, that's why I like that. You know what? Like my boy Carlos said, Cheddar makes it better. Oh, it's a money fight. It's Fuck a yeah. it's a super fight. But he's got Kamaru, and I think after that, it's probably gonna go for the title because he's already. If he nah, he, <laughs> he got Kamaru. <laughs> he's got Kamaru <laughs> coming off a loss as well, off a loss to Leon. Yeah. But I've got bigger fish to fry. Uh, I'm gonna be there in July. I'm gonna see what's up. Big, go. big, bigger fish. Bigger fish. Su super. Or, uh, no, 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 not with Rob. Not with Rob. Not with Rob. No, no, not with Rob. With duplexes. Like, there's even there's a story about that. That um, uh, what's her name? Posted from Thailand. Joey, from Thailand. She posted a picture of. Where's my phone? <laughs> Hold up. Let me show you on my phone. I'm sure you can four fast this bit on the podcast. Hold up. She posted a picture. Okay, let me scroll. <laughs> Stop laughing. I know why he's laughing. You behave yourself. You behave. But she posted a picture of a lot of guys training in this 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 little room in Thailand before they had the big open space. They had this little room where everyone trained at. And they had me, Brad Riddell, Alex Volkanovsky, Kai, um, who's fighting next week. First, the second makes... What? It is, oh, it is Tuesday. Fuck, this weekend. My bad. My time is lost. <laughs> but either way, it's this picture. Too much time in the shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of laps. A lot of laps. <laughs> but um, shit, yeah, where yeah. is it? You can see us. Do not swipe left or right. Just <laughs> hold it right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you can see that's the little name. And Drickus is right there in front of, uh, behind Volk. Yeah. And I'm there as well. And? So you know what's funny? What's breaking funny? news? What's breaking? I'll give it. I'll give it. Yeah. I remember this. We actually spot. Oh, yeah. One of these stories. I don't know, but, it's, but hey, sparring, sparring. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Also, you know what? I'm coming from China. I didn't. I was doing kickboxing over there. I had no MMA, nothing. I was just kickboxing. I had MMA already back, but it wasn't sharp. It was blunt. My 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 jujitsu was blunt, very blunt. 
So when we're sparring, I don't know if we did two rounds or one. It's so long ago as well. This is 2014. Yep, 2014. So long ago. I was just, I remember like on the grappling, he had me. But on a strike him, I just messed him up. But I can't remember exactly. And he had a twin. I don't know if he, I'm sure he has a twin. I swear to God, he has a twin. He has a twin. We're, get, we're getting a no from the team. Here. Nah, he was mm -hmm. there back then. He has a twin. He, he doesn't? We're Question no. everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How do we know for sure? Mike knows. Let's go, Mike. Let's go. All right, we yeah. what do we we got to bring Volk on, right? We do got to bring Volk. No, 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 but yeah, no, but the, we got to close this one out. Yes, yeah, well, no, out. I'm not How saying right the second. I just mean like we should move in that direction. Yeah. You got to get ready for the casino because we got a long night ahead. Yeah, I don't know what we do. <laughs> <laughs> go I'm still training tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, wait, I, what what? Oh, oh yes, my film. What are you making a movie, bro? Okay, let me show you the. Let me show you the. Not the, I don't think it's the cover, but it's, it might be the cover, but it just it's coming out in Tribeca Film Festival oh, it, you June made, 11th. Oh, wait, what month are we in? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I it's, thought you it, were losing track of days. Bro, Hold on, this might, it might be out. No months. Bro, I, I li nah, honestly, ever since I stopped working, slowly the, the days started to escape me. So this is my... Um, what uh, is it, an indie? It's a documentary about my Sick. professional oh, life dope. so far and a little bit of my childhood, a little bit. Um, I've watched Sick. this film twice now. I've watched it twice. I watched it when it was first uh, kind of just finished, and I watched it recently as well. And I'd say one thing about this film. First thing I said was like, men need to see this. Men need to watch this film. Not just men, but like they tested it with like a group of 500 people. And they said women within 19 and 38 or 40 something loved it. They loved it because, again... I'm the kind of guy that I'm very, because we're men. Doesn't matter. We still we still have a feminine side and a masculine side. I'm mm. in touch with both. Mm. You know, this is why online people think I'm gay. Like they literally think I'm gay. It's the whole thing. That's my boyfriend apparently. <laughs> my manager Ash. They're like, I see him in the cage with them all the time. They're always hugging and shit. <laughs> Must be a sugar daddy. That's my nickname for him. It's my sugar daddy. You know what? Because he, he when I was down and out, when I had no money, and I, there was one time I was like down to my last $300 right before I jumped in the UFC. He's always looking after me before that, but then he spot me like 10 grand. Uh, and just like- How did you have my, that kind of money? My man, engage. Yeah. Can you spot me? No way. Yeah. Oh, it was like a reverse. So he helped me out. Oh, yeah, cool. So it's kind of cool. That's but, So anyway, the thing is my boyfriend or sugar daddy. But anyway, but it's because I'm the kind of guy that I'm in touch with the masculine and feminine feminine side of me and that's like the duality yeah you know? a lot of guys that walk around with all this shit like you know i'm like why would you want to walk around with that on you all the time i i don't have to act tough just yes. fucking yeah. google me yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> like i don't have anything to, who said it recently 50 cent said it recently he said like only broke motherfuckers fight <laughs> no, I, I except you yeah. dog yeah no, on the street on the streets at least. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. All, like on the streets yeah, like yeah. Yeah. people who have shit to lose yeah don't yeah yeah, Why? Honestly, I'm, I get my knockouts alone are worth 50k US alone. That's the knockout Wait. alone. Wait, how much? Like a bonus, 50k US on like a bonus, like my last one bonus. But I get bro, paid. that that was like billions of impressions. They should, yeah, no, uh, no, worth no, no, don't worry, that a little bit more. Like I've already, no, 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 I've said this. The <laughs> UFC sometimes they they bump it up to 100 for certain cards. UFC 200, I think they did, or UFC 100, they did. They were like, hey, bonuses are 100K. But when I knock someone out, I know I'm going to get a bonus. So I was like, my, my knockouts are not worth 50K hey, US. A bonus is a bonus. I don't exactly. want Dana to be upset. Every yeah. time I go to a fight, Dana my seat keeps going up. further and further back, bro. <laughs> when I was at 287, I was in row, row six. I ain't trying to be well, in row, row 15, six. bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, Dana, but like, I think these bonuses are great. Yeah. I think they're the perfect size. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They go up. <laughs> They just signed with W. Uh, I mean UFC WWE, WWE yeah. merger, yeah, yeah, yeah. twenty one point four billion dollar company. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yo, they can go up. They yeah. can, it's been a few years. For like, hey, inflation's been going up. The bonus got to go up. That's yeah, that's how I a feel. fact. Well, I've told him this. I've said this publicly. It's not. It's not crazy. But also, why would I want to fight someone and not get paid? Yeah. No, you wouldn't do it. What the fuck? And no. not to mention, you got weapons, bro. To, attached yeah, to I'll wrist. get, yeah. You know, I saw what a deadly weapon. I know there's that as well. But also, like, I, fuck, I have too much pride in my art. To just use it on a street fight. Yeah. Unless it came to a point where, like, literally my life was in danger. Right. I'm not saying no one do something stupid because you will lose. But, like, unless my life was in danger, it would be like, 
okay, well, now I have to fucking end this guy because yeah. also there's no referee in a street fight. People forget. They think, oh, no, the streets is different, bro. No, just like, yeah. <laughs> there's no referee to drag me <laughs> off. <you. laughs> I'll kill you. Yes, they, yes, it is different. It's very well, different. Yeah, it is very different. No, that's, so that's, I, that's I have crazy. To, I have to remind people. And even like when I walk around with my team, right now you see Big Paulie, former King of the Ring champ, my boy Mayo, one of the other garden gnomes. It's not really for me. It's more, it's more for other people. I'm sure you got some stories. Uh, Who's broken into your house? Uh, there was a guy. Yeah. A there, guy? There was a guy. I heard about a girl. <laughs> Maybe that's someone else. But I'm sure. I'm it sure. like the beginning of a porn, dude. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, I'm no, sure. No, no, your stories, your but security I, and I, your I have team. around. Just, it's not really for me. It's more so I can live my life and actually enjoy myself. And I should get to just be regular. And it's more to protect other people so I don't end up on TMZ for the wrong reasons. Yeah, of course. Of course. Because I still haven't for the wrong... Well, I mean, some fan gave me some knuckle dusters or a weapon and I ended up on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stupid. Airport, right? Yeah. Oh, we saw that. We it's saw still, that. I'm like... Ugh, I'm not, I don't take shit from fans anymore because of that. But like, I got to protect myself. But at the end of the day, it's more to protect them than to protect me. For sure. I can, like, I can look after myself. I'm sure you can as well. Well, we're gonna have to look after ourselves if we don't get Volk on this podcast. Yeah, you're right. I'm yeah, not okay, yeah, I'm out. Gonna okay. beat the hey, fuck boy, out. Izzy, Izzy, thanks for coming on, bro. <laughs> no, thank you. What, what a great, fun. what a great show, man. Thanks for bringing us to Puerto Rico to hang out. It was yeah. for a few days. Like I said, after one of my fights in the states, I'm pulling back up for a week. I'm yeah. gonna be at the Ritz. Please I might do, see bro. you. I'm sure I'll see you. Please hit me up. Of course. Man. And uh, this on. isn't one of those like things where we say it and then don't do it. Hit me up. Uh, we'll grab dinner. We'll hang we'll out. Up, it, it'll be I'm sick. We'll grab dinner tonight, and I'll see you at the casino. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. Israel Adesanya, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace.